This video introduces Simulate's Advanced Fibre Modeler, or AFM, for CATIA V5 Composites Design. AFM is a powerful extension to CATIA V5 Composites Design, CPD, or Derived Products, CPE, CPM. It adds additional fibre simulation tools to enable the realistic simulation of ply producibility. To show the basic differences between the standard product and AFM, we we'll use this typical interior aerospace panel. First of all, we're selecting the standard ply shape created as the whole panel with some cutaways for detailing. You can see from this the extent of the panel, set up with a normal producibility panel from CPD, where we have the standard minimum distortion draping solution. The start point will be the same for both, but applying this, it cannot produce the ply for the whole of this panel. Moving on to the AFM solution, we've got exactly the same ply extents and the same start point. When we move to the producibility panel for this and use the external solver and the simulate optimized energy solution, um, we can apply this and we will find that the solution is, is a good one with no problematic areas around this panel. The same basic underlying technology is well proven in a number of Simulate products that have been in production use since 1992. These solutions are available in both design and analysis environments to allow close linking between the two worlds. The key features of AFM compared to the standard solutions are the incorporation of realistic propagation modes that reflect shop floor results and produce stable simulations. AFM is stable even on plies with jagged edges that may be introduced by darting. Also, AFM simulation conforms to the ply surface and minimizes sensitivity to step length, and also allows the user to constrain the simulation using a seed curve. AFM also allows the user to specify the order of drape or draping sequence. Simulate's draping algorithm is proven to provide realistic simulation. The results have been shown to reflect manufacturing behaviour accurately, with stable results over areas of high curvature and for large plies. A variety of propagation modes are available to suit most needs. In this next example we have a simple geometric hemisphere, but the ply definition is non-trivial. In the standard CPD solution for the ply shown here, the actual shear deformation shown is irregular. Applying the AFM solution to exactly the same ply using the simulate solver we get a regular deformation around the sides of the hemisphere. With such high shear it's often necessary to add darts to the boundary. We're using the same example we'll now show the effect of these darts with the standard solution and with AFM. First of all, with the standard solution, you can see here the boundary of the ply has had darts added uh, up the side of the hemisphere. These are used in the creation of the ply, and with the producibility panel, you can see that there are jagged edges arising where the darts have been put in place. However, using the AFM solution and using exactly the same ply boundaries as shown here, when we apply the solution using the optimized energy solver from Simulate, we get a far cleaner flat pack. AFM also follows geometry very closely and therefore is relatively insensitive to step length. For this example, with a very small fillet radius along the edges of this channel, we'll show the effects on the draped ply with both the standard CPD solution and the AFM solution. Here we have a step length of 2 mm, which is twice the size of the fillet, and the draped solution here is showing some errors with the standard. Also, if we increase the step length, in this case to a, a relatively high 13 mm, not only does it go across the corner there, but errors are generated as it goes around the corner. The effect of this step length on the standard solution is also noticeable when we look at the flat patterns. Here we have the two solutions with the 2mm and the 13mm step length and you can see 
there is a difference between the flat patterns created which obviously with the geometry being the same shouldn't be the case. If we now have a look at the AFM solution using both 2mm and 13mm for the step length the initial draping is improved as you can see here a nice clean flat pattern is also generated and with the 13mm step length although again it cuts across the corners uh, and visually it has knowledge of the surface and there is no errors generated in the producibility. Again if we show the flat patterns for this, uh, this solution you can see here in the green and the blue the flat patterns are identical. And now showing the standard solution flat patterns you can see the big variation you get in the standard solution compared to AFM. AFM also provides additional functionality of the seed curve. This way the user can constrain the fibres, whether it be from the warp, the weft or even the bias directions, a longer curve. This is extremely useful in aerospace frames, wind turbine blades and boat holes, as some of the next examples will show. In this first example of a C channel with a slight S curve to it, the standard solution takes no account of the changing direction of the channel. However, if we select the AFM solver, the initial fibre directions at the start point are taken into account, but we also have the ability to select a seed curve which directs the fibres along the centre of the channel, producing a very straight flat pattern. We also have an example here with the fibres at plus minus 45 degrees, again giving a very straight flat pattern, but if we now switch back to the standard solver, you can see that again no account is made of this changing direction. In this next example, surfaces from a boat hole. There are two plies already created using the AFM seed curve functionality. The plies are forced to follow the shear line across the top of this hole and the fibres follow a natural line. If we don't use this the fibres are seen to run off the edge of the hole. The first example covers the whole of those surfaces shown. The second ply runs across the top of the shear line and with the AFM seed curve function, the plies follow the design as intended. And if we show the standard solution, you can see that the fibres run off the side of the hole and there is high shear at the aft area of the boat. Another function provided by AFM is the order of drape. This way we can specify exactly the sequence in which the material is applied to the component. This is essential for C sections and Z sections where part of the component is laid in first, followed by the flanges, as will be shown by these examples. The first example is a relatively simple C-section channel. With the standard solution there is no order of drape. We picked a start point and a fibre direction and because the fabric is forced around the flanges straight away the shape is not regular and the fibres don't follow the solution. Changing to the AFM solver the solution is better but is still not what was intended. If we now define an area which is going to be laid in first and select this as the order of drape you can see a far more regular pattern with the fibres following the intended direction in the base of the channel. And in this last example order of drape has already been applied to this more complex aerospace component. If we select the boundary for the order of drape as shown here we get a nice solution with the ply draped around the corners. However what we'll show is the standard solution if we take away the order of drape and go to the standard solution the minimum distortion you can see that it hasn't draped at all well. Looking at the ply on the other side of the component, again first of all with the AFM order of drape applied, a very regular ply is, is produced and it follows the surfaces very closely. But if we now use the standard CPD solution and therefore don't have order of drape, we see high areas of shear and 
effectively the ply is unproducible. So, in conclusion, although Katia V5's composites design environment provides very powerful tools for ply specification, Simulate's advanced fibre modeler extends the capability and provides additional functionality to provide realistic simulations and accurate composites manufacturing information.